Back out of the first called timeout, being a media timeout. We're bringing Dalton Mueller on early. Great to have you here, buddy. Oh, super excited, Davis. It's uh, actually my first time I've called a men's game for a little bit and been on air with them. I did a, uh, some women's games back in my uh, undergrad days here at Piedmont, so this is exciting for me. Well, welcome back. It's always great to have alumni back here, especially for for these contests. I mean, so many familiar faces. It really rewinds time here in Cave Arena, and I mean, uh, no better face to have here than yours. Of course, assistant strength and conditioning coach over at Anderson. That's a big turnover there. How's everything going there? It's going great. It's been super awesome. This year has been a lot of growth up there at Anderson University. The apartment went from two strength coaches full-time to four. So super wow. excited there. Uh, doubled in size, added football in the, uh, this fall. So we have a football director of strength conditioning along with two assistants now that I had. So I've been able to fill that assistant role, one of them at least. And it's been a lot of excitement as it's grown and taken place. That's awesome. Great to hear up there as Hellenbrook heads to the line for two. Your men's basketball program, big win over Furman the other day. What's it like to really see the student athletes that you work with, uh, you know, away from the spotlight, get to shine in the spotlight? Oh, it's super exciting. I love the, the fact that I get to be a strength coach. I'm oftentimes not even really thought about in this kind of day and age. People kind of don't really know exactly what happens behind the scenes, and we get after in the weight room. We're trying to get bigger and stronger, and to be honest, our men's basketball team did dominate Furman, and uh, it was a huge part of the process and the uh, work that they put into those guys. I'm super proud of them. It was also really cool to see that it just came into fruition, put it to a Division One team, like you said, and got, came out with a dub. It was big. Love to see that. Max Gardner forgot to buy his airline ticket because he just went traveling. That was five steps before he realized that he had to dribble. That's a tough break there. Piedmont's got the lead to 10 here. A bucket will cut it to single digits for what feels like the first time in forever. It really has been forever. Piedmont was down 19-6 in the first quarter. Jolly, pull up two, won't go. This one's poked away. R.J. Brown might have just stepped out of bounds. No call. So let it continue to play. Talk about the strength and conditioning program here. John Delph, of course, the lone coach here. But you got to do some work with him as we see a finish at the rim. Yes, it's, it was super exciting to see. Once I came here to, when it was Piedmont College, before it changed to Piedmont University, we didn't have a strength and conditioning coach. So we got one about three years ago now, uh, started my senior year, and it was super exciting to have him on campus to finally take this athletic department to the next level, in all honesty. And we've seen a lot of growth there. John Delph's been a great asset to, uh, to the student athletes here. And last them to grow and develop their game in other ways getting bigger getting stronger you know working to get rid of injuries but also just have a lot of fun and move a lot of weight it's been super exciting to see that growth that he's brought you know revamped the weight room this past summer repainted it brought in new equipment we've also added some technology pieces to it which is something that a lot of schools just don't have especially at the division three level so that's super exciting to see been a great friend a great mentor and i'm super excited that i was able to take a little bit of part of that wow we're gonna get an offensive foul on Joe Hellenbrook there. That's, wow, that's bad. Wow, I honestly don't understand that call right there. That's bad. Watched a lot of basketball, played a lot of basketball in my days, and that's just the guy going after the ball, and it's just unfortunate, unlucky turn of events right there, especially as they're trying to cut into this lead some more. Yeah, this is the 12 media timeout. We're going to keep it here. Talk about, I mean, you, you could give a great perspective on that. You filled the role that Helen Brooks been filling right now is kind of kind of the bigger forward, not really listed as a center, but playing this role where you're down in, in the paint, banging around uh, for 40 minutes. What's it like down there, really, in the trenches? I mean, it's tough. It's Honestly, it's more mental than physical. Uh, most things are in athletics and in sports and in life. Like you can have all the you know physical attributes you need, but the mental toughness to be able to stay down there and fight for 40 minutes is brutal. Because you got guys that are beating on you, banging on you, coming out of the game looking like you just got out of a boxing match. Sometimes it's it's really tough. That's just one of those unfortunate things where fighting for a loose ball and it just it doesn't go our way. Um, trying to get a couple whistles, maybe a couple baskets to go away that would definitely help us. But you know, got to give props to Huntington. You know, they came in with some energy today and haven't really let off the gas. It's good for the boys. They need this. It's a good, good battle right here in the second, you know, second contest of league play, conference play. So super excited to see how this turns out. What would you say to Hellenbrook now? Because obviously you're visibly frustrated with that call, as most of the, or I'd say 99% of the arena was with that one. How do, how do you shake off the mental side of that one? You know, it's a simple saying. You know, you got to move on, and forget about it. Uh, it's really tough to actually do that now, but the game's going at such a fast pace, especially men's basketball. You're moving up and down so fast, playing media to media. You got to forget about it. Because you let that thing linger, then you know you're gonna get another dumb foul call here in a second. Now you're having to sit out, and it's gonna be hurt your guys when they need you in there. You know, league uh, probably league rebounder. Last time I checked, I can't remember, but definitely team leading rebounder. So we need him in there. He's got to be able to remain calm and cool, and just kind of move on to that next play right here.